So clearly uh, annoying to concede the goal late on on Saturday, but I think you mentioned in your post-match interview so much to be pleased with. And I guess most satisfying of all, it lo looked like you really put some work in on the training ground and a lot of those ideas and the work that you put in really came off. Well, we worked hard last week and, and to be fair, we work hard all the time. Um, they're a good group of players who want to learn, want to get better. Um, and for us not to not to get the second goal was the biggest um, was the biggest problem really for us at the weekend. Um, you know, I spoke to the players about this and uh, playing for this football club. It's about it's about scoring. It's about getting another goal. It's about playing on the front foot and um, and they and they're well aware of that. But we, we had opportunities. We had chan we had chances. We had um, some really good uh, situations that we just couldn't quite get the ball in the back of the net for the second goal. Um, and ultimately that cost us really. Um, you know, you can talk about the the, the goal, um, and every goal, like I've said to you before, is there's always two or three different stages of the goal where you could have done better. Um, and the, the goalkeeper, um, had struggled, their goalkeeper had struggled really all day with his with his kicking, and the one kick it gets right um, is right in the 93rd minute, and sucker punch for us really. But the performance was excellent. The boys were um, outstanding. I thought we passed the ball very well. Um, I thought we controlled the game. I thought we created num numerous opportunities to score and we just didn't take the take the chances. So I'm pleased. We need to build on that now. We need to make sure we go and produce again on Tuesday um, in another tough game and a team who's in the playoffs somewhere where we want to try and get ourselves in in, in the next few weeks. Um, and it's an opportunity for us to go and do that. Yeah, and it sounded like after the game as well, you were really keen to make sure the players were well aware of that obviously you take into account what hasn't worked for you but equally you wanted to make a big thing of yes I was really pleased with a lot of that performance definitely that's what I said to them I said you know keep your heads up um, because the performance was excellent and a lot of uh, you know if you look through the teams the, I don't think there was a bad performance amongst them I think they all put the shift in they all worked hard the energy was good um, I think this, the, the way we played and the style of play suited us um, you know we, we we, we definitely deserve to win the game and to come away from there as a sucker punch and um, people can say unlucky and things like that. I, th I think it's going to change though, you know, you do make your own luck, definitely. Um, and the tide's got to turn for us sometime and we're hoping it's going to be Tuesday that we can we can get the, t the right decisions in games, we can make the right decisions in games and we can um, get ourselves into a at a lead where we're not worried about what's going to happen if we concede. So um, it, it's it's very important for us to, to stay together now. You know, us, the fans, the f everyone connected with the football club, and we will because there's only one way you, you get out of this league, um, and that's by doing that. So it's it's a, it's it's going to be a big 16 games for us. Um, there's still going to be some ups and downs, um, but we want to try and get a consistent run the, together here and get ourselves back in and amongst it. Um, we're not far away. You know, we're not far away from it, and we're not far away from being a good team. Um, and, and that's and that's ultimately up to me, the manager, to to make sure we are a good team. Um, but we're close, and uh, we'll continue to work to get that. Yeah, and that, that's definitely the the way you see it. I, I guess you could look at a, a situation like on Saturday and think, well, game management over the final part of the game, we could really focus on that. But you see it as the the posh way to go and get more goals. There's no point in in doing things that are, are out of character, as it were. Well, we've tried two different ways, haven't we? We, I mean, if you remember the Charlton game, we went more attacking with our, with our changes, and, and we ended up conceding too late. Uh, goals. Um, and on Saturday we went. Um, we, we brought Junior on. Um, we brought Andrew Hughes on. Um, you know, so we had a mixture of both. Kept the attacking threat. Brought Andrew Hughes on, and we brought Chris Forrester on just to try and get us get us on the ball a little bit more. When when Gillingham had that spell, probably for five or ten minutes towards the end of the game, when they were launching balls in their box and they had three centre forwards and a centre half and all sorts up there. So. Um, we tried. We tried to, to get the right subs, and I think we did. But it's just, it's just for whatever reason, we just we just didn't get the next goal, and and, and that's our focus now for the next 16 games. Is, is the is the importance of scoring again when you've scored, and not taking your foot off the off the gas. What's your what's your take on Scunthorpe then for for Tuesday night? I think they're a good team. Um, I think they have been a good team ever since ever since Graham's been there. Um, strong, experienced. They've got threats, you know, the two wide boys and two centre forwards can cause any team in this league problems. So we need to make sure we're very good defensively. Um, 
because if we are, then we know we have got um, people on our team that can go and hurt them. Uh, and I'm sure Graham's well aware of that as well. So we're at home. Um, we want to make sure we we go to win the game, which we will. Um, it's a big game for us, really, because if we win it, we can claw ourselves a little bit closer to Scunthorpe with a couple of games in hand. Um, and that's our focus. The boys have been well drilled on that this morning. We've worked hard again this morning and yesterday to make sure we are ready to go and put a big performance in in front of our home support. Yeah, you can pull them back into it a bit. And I, I suppose we saw earlier in the season, it, it seems to have been a, a characteristic of Scunthorpe for quite some time. They're, they're really hard to beat, aren't they? They're determined. They hang, hang on in there. Well, we were outstanding. We were very good at Glanford Park early in the season. And, and again, we, we made a couple of mistakes that cost us the game there. Um, you know, I think we we possibly could have had a penalty later on as well, but you know some decisions just hasn't gone our way on that on that front. But it, it, they're a good team. They are. They're well organised. They're well drilled. They're well coached. Um, and you can see, you know, they've been they've been in and around the playoffs ever since Graham's been there. Um, so I'm sure they're thinking that this is this is their year. That, that this could be their year that they go up. Um, but we're thinking that as well. So it's um, I think it's it's got the aspects of a good game. Um, I think both teams will go and try and win the game. And, and that's, you know, for us, it's, a, it's good for us because we want teams to come here and, and have a go at us because we know we can hurt them the other way as well. So um, we'll make sure that we're right for whatever they throw at us, um, but hope, hopefully that uh, we can go and hurt them at the other end. In terms of uh, injuries, I think you were quietly confident on, on Marcus Madison. Is he going OK? Yeah, he, he, he's getting better. He's getting better. Um, whether he's right for tomorrow or not, we'll see. Um, but he's definitely getting better. Um, Guion has probably got another week or so in his boot um, and then he can start getting some running on the grass and on the treadmill and on the bike and things like that. Um, Alex Penny will know more on Wednesday when he when he sees the consultant um, regarding whether he needs an operation or not. So um, yeah, it's, it's looking likely he probably will, um, which is a blow for him because we felt uh, as a coaching staff he was he was coming coming on leaps and bounds. You know, he, he played well when he played in the team one or two tricky games at the start but got better and better um, and he was close again you know one of the ones who was close of, of knocking on the door to get in the team so blow for Alex and a blow for us. Yeah, It's nice though with the Marcus situation that you're without a key player but you're in a situation where the the rest of the players or the 11 you selected really stepped up on on Saturday which I guess makes life easier than going into Tuesday's game. It does and I thought I mean I listen I thought Danny Loy was excellent but we've got we've got some real good attacking players up there, and um, if we need to if we need to ch change it and chop it about to to keep some freshness in the group and keep the energy, then we then we've got that. But it's it's important that whoever plays in the team, the rest of the group now are are together. We know the importance of every game now. Um, you know, I've got a 20, 23, 24 man squad, but some of the young ones, so I can't keep everybody happy. Um, so it's important that. Whatever team we pick is the freshest, is the, re is the most ready to go, um, and that's what way we'll be looking looking at Tuesday's game as well. Yeah, it's 12, 12 goals for the season now for Danny, and I guess it would have been unsettling for him when there was the talk about being on the transfer list and, and all the rest of it. But he's reacted in just the right way, and to step up from National League North to League One level and have twelve goals at this stage—that's a, a really good return. He has, and listen, Danny has probably surpassed what a lot of people thought he was going to do. Um, I, I knew what he could bring. Um, I think Danny's a confident lad. He knows he can come in and play in this league. Um, you know, and he's, he's, he's a breath of fresh air, Danny. He, he's so lively, so bubbly. Um, he'll put 100% into everything he does. And, but he knows he's got stiff competition here, you know, as well. And that's keeping him lively and, and, and bubbly. So it's, um, it's a good conundrum to have. Um, you know, whoever we go with, it's going to be um, it's going to be for for reasons that we think this is why we can win a game. Um, so it's uh, it's good for it's good that we, we we've got those options. We, we've got George Cooper didn't even get didn't come on on Saturday, you know. So um, and it just can't. So there's lots lots of options for us in the, in the forward areas, and um, we've got to make sure we pick the right and the freshest ones.